Hello, here I am again. And it's time for a new league, a new vlog series, and um, just recaps going on strong. Currently, I have the microphone sit set right in front of me, so um, cause I'm not going to play. Um, I don't know if if, the, if it picks up on the recording, but when I like hit the keyboard, it's so much louder. Um, yeah. So what happened is I played till around six a.m. this morning. Um, did everything. Um, I did, like, even did Feated Pool and Golden Hand and what have you. Um, did both labs. And I'm currently level 73. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I've not set up my Rogue Harbor or my Delph yet. And I did not run my first map. As promised, I am playing Spark, and I do have a six link. Um, fortunately, it's a two green one, so I'm currently running added cold in it. Um, but yeah, it's just Spark, faster casting, inspiration, and here's as the base setup, then Lightning Pen as the fifth one, and as the sixth one. Currently, I think I want a blue. Um, but yeah, and I dropped these boots in like Act 3, they were four white linked sockets, um, still crafted move speed, at this random shield, I did drop a Victory Security, which is amazing, um, since it gives me everything I want, right, projectile speed and projectile damage and, sh and charge then, it's, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I have this tier 1 life roll on the ring, which is also fun. Um, this ring is also very old, yeah. It's like Act 4. Um, currently running this belt, but I did find um, so many uniques. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I dropped the Famine Bind, which was fun because it's projectile damage. Um, yeah, but I had to swap it out. Also dropped, like, crit rings. I was considering them. Maybe I'm gonna use them? Um, not sure. But, I mean, charge gen is solved, so I don't need Ramirez, really. And I'm currently elemental, uh, overload. So the multi does nothing. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm currently unable to connect to the achievement server. Um, what else happened? Yeah, I got some currency. They reorganized the tab, so this section is more mapping related. And I can sling orbs are here. I think they used to be here or here. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what else happened. I already have seven challenges done. Yeah, and of course, I started doing the Sanctum. Um, it was kind of hard to get into at first, because when you started, your build is weak, and you almost guaranteed fail the first room you're in, just to test out how Resolve works, and then you get quicker, and you have to dodge more, and um, in Act 2, you get your first Relic, um, these are the relics. Oh, it's it's B. Um, yeah, so currently I have two relics equipped. You can only equip them when you start in the run. Um, I have the gain 23 resolve when you kill a boss. That's the first one you get. I think that's guaranteed that it's a gain resolve when you kill a boss. And then I dropped a gain 36 gold at the start of the Sanctum, which is also just random and useless kind of i mean 36 gold is like one extra floor um without without like any treasure in it um yeah currency wise it's currently not that good because 
on the completion things, right? You can see this one offers uh, Orb of Binding now, two fusings or three fusings at this boss, or five fusings when I complete the next floor. I don't know how many floors there are. This is currently three. I think there are four. Um, so yeah, these these offers item on completion is usually just one or two of the currency that is uh, displayed on the most on, on the left. So I got like one stack deck out of this, and I got an orb of binding out of this. I yeah, since since this is floor number three, I have quite a lot of buffs and debuffs. Um, yeah, inspiration is just like energy shield for resolve. It's just just another shield, kind of, but it does not recover when resolve recovers. It's it's just a different stat, but it is taken before resolve, so it's really good. Movement speed is king since, as you have seen, I only have eleven movement speed on my boots crafted. Definitely have to upgrade those. Um, yeah. And 40 max resolve each time you use a fountain. I just got that. I think it was this one or this one. That gave it to me. Um, it would have been so nice to get that early. Now that I've um, gotten more used to what actually can be a boon and, uh, and I don't know what they're called. A ailment. <laughs> what are they called? I don't know. Affliction. I think affliction is uh, the correct term. Does it tell me? Uh, yeah, some rooms are afflicted and will apply affliction. Yeah, okay. So, what are my current afflictions on this stage? Where I have 16 life left. That's like one auto attack from a monster. Or reference. Or maybe two. Oh, well, I think that depends on the range that you're at. But yeah, it's like... If I get hit at all, I'm probably out. I have reduced resolve recovered. I can't see shit. Um, God's release in Volatile Anomaly on death is really annoying because it's like gray and red-ish. It's not like the old Volatile, which would have been totally fine. Um, but it's a Volatile Anomaly. So it's smaller and less visible, but still gets you good. And there's one guard who uses mirror image, and this also works for mirror images. So, yeah, you have randomly chasing anomalies. Yeah, you floor checks lose all coins on floor completion. That's fine because it's only like bosses, and they don't get any coins anyway, uh, as you can see with the next. So, rewards are unknown. So, yeah. It speaks for itself. I can't see what, what is what. So usually you, you would see uh, what the next line gives and then that line. But yeah. yeah empty trove. Chests no longer drop all your coins. Um, so this was annoying. This was a major treasure re reward. There were five chests in it. And like every chest is like 60 to 70 coins. So yeah, to, to go through that stage... And then open five chests with nothing in it. Great. And I have to pay every time I exit a room. So these are rooms. This is a floor. And if I do all four floors, I think there are four or five. I don't know. Does it does it tell you? Hmm. Okay. You can't tell. Uh, and the merchant offers fifty percent of your choices. Um, yeah, so I can't target the merchant anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, the merchant is quite OP um, if you can find her. So it's Divinia or whatever she's called. Is she is she in here? Is she here? I can just show you. Um, so she spawns in Act 2 and in Act 7 and guides you to the Feltrine Ruins um, where you... Hey. Um, we talk to her and 
In Act 2, she gives you your first relic. And in Act 7, you get her antagonist, basically. So the one that gives you like upside, downside, accursed deals and stuff. Um, quite fun. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, relics, I do have the two I've already shown you, and I dropped these two more books. Uh, bosses take more damage and free resolve when I complete a room. So yeah, the recovery is not that good so far. And 4% reduced merchant prices. So every upgrade basically is around 200 to 300 from what I've seen. So 4% is really not that much. It's about one room. Um, and yeah, just recovering 50 resolve uh, at the merchant is also 50 gold. It's really hard to say Aureus coins because why just call it gold? Um, yeah, I think that's it so far from me. I have not completed anything on the Atlas. I'm going to do that now. Just at lunch. And I will decide on MTX later. Oh, I haven't shown you my weapon. Uh, it's good. It's a tier 2 lightning damage spells weapon with tier 2 projectile speed. Yeah. Um, this might take a while to actually replace. Um, in terms of Atlas skill tree, I think I'm going to go really standard. Just uh, Essence, Strongbox straight through the middle. Um, not sure if I want stash or shrines. Then probably go expedition and harby. Okay. Like over here. And take this wheel. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about doing like uh, ruckus and stuff. Um, we'll see how I feel later on. I'm also really tanky. I just noticed. Um, yeah. So that's it. If you have any suggestions for MTX uh, or whatnot, feel free to comment that. Um, I already have the gloves and I already have the boots. Are they? Right. Oh, I unlocked boots, right? Yeah, victorious boots. Where are they? What? What? Okay, apparently I do not have victorious boots. Oh, that's because I can't connect to the achievement server. Maybe that's the issue. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I guess see you tomorrow because there will be enough content to make an update tomorrow, pretty sure. Um, yeah, goodbye.